to take a few minutes to do some tag videos today. I wanted to go ahead and film for you my top 10 favorite shoes. This was suggested to me probably a couple of months ago now by my friend Evie, and I am just now getting a chance to film this for you. I hope you enjoy these shoes. A couple of other shoes that I really enjoy, I included in my rainbow tag of my shoes, and um, I'll put a link right here. You can click over and see that one if you'd like to see a few different shoes that I have. But if I had to pick 10 of my favorite ones as far as heels are concerned, these 10 would be them. Now, mind you, I am not a real frilly, sissy, girly girl, so I don't like to wear heels everywhere I go. So I actually do have several pair of shoes that would be considered my favorites that are flats. Um, kind of dressy sandals that I wear with capris. We live here in Florida, so we wear capris and shorts almost year-round. Um, but I'm not going to include those. Today I'm just going to do the dressy ones that are more of a high heel, something that you can wear out on the town. I'm going to put those in this video for you. And um, I'm going to start, I don't even know where to start because I have so many, but let me make this disclaimer before I get started. I know that people know that I enjoy shoes and uh, have quite a few pair of shoes. Um, people know my love of shoes and they will be out shopping and they will see something that they think I will enjoy and they will buy them and bring them to me. In all honesty, if I had to go through all the shoes in my closet, I've, I've bought maybe, maybe half to three quarters of them. The rest of them have either been hand-me-downs from someone else who just didn't like them anymore, or like I said, people who are out shopping and would buy them for me. Um, I make no apologies for my shoes because I'll tell you this, and not in a bragging way at all, but just to let you know, there have been times that I have been out somewhere and um, knew that God was telling me to give my shoes away and have actually done that, pulled the shoes right off of my feet to give them to someone who I knew that God was telling me to do that for and have come home um, barefoot, actually come home barefoot because I always try to be open and listen to the Lord and sometimes he has directed me to do that and I always try to, to be obedient whenever I feel his leading in that area, no matter what it is, not just shoes but but maybe a monetary gift, it could be um, items of clothing, uh, food for people that don't have food. We try our best to live a giving lifestyle and a benevolent lifestyle. And so I believe that in return for that obedience, God blesses me back with some of the things that I really enjoy because I think he knows that he can trust me. That if he were to tell me tomorrow to go give these shoes away, I would gladly do it. Um, I might would miss them a little bit and it might make me a wee bit sad, but I still would happily obey. So. Before I get any complaints about how many shoes that I have and all the people out there who have no shoes, I just want you to know that we do do our best to make sure that people around us in need have their needs met. And so I'll make no apologies for the blessing that God gives me in return. So let's just get started. One of my favorite pair of shoes, and I actually put this one in that rainbow tag of shoes, is this pretty little pair of zebra shoes right here with the pretty pink bow on top. I fell in love with these the minute that I saw them, and they are still one of my favorite pair of shoes. I just think they're absolutely adorable. Another pair of shoes um, that my husband bought for me that I absolutely adore are these beautiful things right here. They're hot pink. And they've got the snake skin accents on them. I'm not sure how well you can see that on camera. But I just love these beautiful, strappy, summer sandal type heels. They're absolutely, probably, mm, I don't know, it'd be hard to say. Those might be the favorite of all the favorites. Um, another pair of shoes that I absolutely love is this beautiful pair of shoes right here. My son bought me these. Um, I was in desperate need of some white heels. Believe it or not, out of all the shoes that I have, white was not amongst them. And so he found these and bought these for me, and I super enjoy these. These are classic enough that you can wear them in the summer. And the style is such that, you know, I don't necessarily follow the rules of no white after Labor Day. So you can actually wear these because of the design. Um, they can actually be good for a fall or winter shoe as well. Another one of my favorite pair of shoes are these cute little pokey dot ones right here. My daughter bought me these for my birthday and uh, I just think they are adorable. We got these here at City Trends 
couldn't even tell you what the price on those were, but I just think that they're absolutely adorable. Very, very cute. Another one of my favorite pair of shoes, I would have to say, are these pretty little strappy sandal slides right here. These K, these were a gift from my mother, and um, I love them. I just love the color. I love the design. They are so comfortable and cool here in Florida during the summer months to throw them on with a pretty little flowing skirt, especially like a linen skirt. Very, very nice. I love those shoes a lot. Another one of my favorite pair of shoes are these right here. You might want to put some sunglasses on to be able to see these. I'm not sure the reflection that is showing in that camera, um, but these are just awesome. They are fabulous. One of the things that, that I like whenever uh, I wear my gold shoes is my mom reminds me of the story whenever I was just a little girl. One of the very first pair of sandals that she ever bought me was a real shiny patent leather gold pair of sandals. So I don't know. I guess maybe that stuck and I've just enjoyed them ever since. But I love those flashy shoes right there. They are so pretty. Speaking of gold, here is another one of my favorite pair of shoes. These right here tie in the back. This goes around the ankle, kind of like a little ankle necklace. And then the ribbon ties in the back and makes a real pretty satin bow in the back. But it has the studs up the heel, down around underneath the uh, ball of your foot, and then of course across the top of the sandal absolutely gorgeous. I love these. These are for like, for me, a real fancy dress up occasion. You know, once we get older, ladies, we don't really have an opportunity to do that a whole, whole lot like we did when we were young going to prom, but on occasion we find places to wear those kind of beautiful dressy shoes. Now, another one of my favorites that probably would tie pretty close with the uh, snakeskin ones, are what I call my Cinderella shoes. <laughs> These are my acrylic like glass slipper shoes that I got at Traffic. I don't know how many of you have a Traffic near you, but great place for shoes. But this also has the little rhinestone studs across the top of the toe and um, the clear acrylic on the heel and on the front of the shoe. And I know people ask me all the time, how do you walk in shoes that are that tall? But I'll give you the secret. If you'll notice on these platform type shoes, the front of them is also built up. So if you go right across where the front of that is built up and just draw your hand right across, the heel is not actually as high as it looks. It's an illusion. And so it makes it a whole lot easier to walk in them. If you like a really tall heel, then I recommend that you get one that is built up in the toe area. Um, some of the shoes, like these white ones here, um, it's done on the inside so that you actually can't tell how that it's built up. So it doesn't have to look obviously like a platform shoe, but it does help make that arch a lot more comfortable. So that's just a little tip that I'll give you whenever you pick out your heels because once I have a few that are in my closet that the front the toe is not built up and it's just flat and the the heel is so high that the arch is really super uncomfortable and it hurts the balls of my feet so I don't really like them and wear them a lot. Another one of my favorite pair of shoes is these right here. I guess you can tell by now that I love animal prints, snake skins, zebra skins. I have a pair of leopard shoes back there. Um, I just, I love the animal prints. I especially love zebra and I love pink. So zebra and pink put together makes for a perfect shoe, in my opinion. Love it. And the last pair that I have, I believe I've shown you all the rest of them, is this funky pair of boots that I got a couple of winters ago. And I actually picked these up at Payless. I'm not sure how many of you have a Payless near you, but that's where I got these. They've got the super shiny gold heel, if you haven't been able to tell by now. I love a lot of bling, and I like a lot of shine. So I found these boots here that have the gold buckles and has the gold heel. Um, the front of them, I'm, I'm not sure how much you can tell on the screen, but it's a real fuzzy, furry, I don't even know 
exactly what that is made out of. The top up here is, is a faux leather. I'm sure by the cost, it's not real leather because these shoes, I believe I paid like $40 for them, not expensive. But the, the fuzzy fur, I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I did have to buy a certain kind of spray that I have to keep sprayed on them to keep water off of them. So whatever that is and whatever it's made of, it does require a special spray to keep those boots in good order. Um, but that's it. That's the 10 of my top favorite shoes. Um, if you have if you have a love of shoes and you have several of them in your closet, then I'm tagging you now. Why don't you show us your favorite shoes and be sure to leave it as a video response on this video so that I can take a look and enjoy your shoes. I love them. I think they're beautiful and I enjoy to see what other people's tastes are in their shoes. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.